Now remember, the safety of the children is the number one priority in this operation. Do not forget that. We'll keep guard in the village while you're gone, sir. And don't you get into any trouble either. Understand? Of course not. Right, Claude? Claude? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Listen, don't you think we should have had them along too? If they wanted us, they would have waited for us. I suppose they just have their own way of doing things. Surely they're planning to take all the credit by getting a head start on us. This isn't a race, Celine. If you do run into them in the forest, I want you all to work together. Yes, of course, Elder. You'll need these boots to cross the bog inside the forest. Otherwise, parts of it will be totally impassable. Thank you very much, Elder. We will have good news for you when we return. I promise. Look at you, Claude. Still stuck on what Raina said before. Huh? Time to get on with it. Can't have Reyna and that guy get all the glory now, can we? I don't need you to remind me. Very well, welcome back to Let's Break Star Ocean 2. Let me check something real quick. What the heck? I, I swear this just keeps resetting. I want to listen to the arrangement one. I listened to it the last time. In the last episode, I was like, this sounds way too close to the original soundtrack. And it was the original soundtrack. Is This sounds way too close again. It's the arrangement now. Okay. I have no idea. I swear there's something that just keeps resetting it. Maybe when I restart the game, it just goes back to original. I don't know. Oh, well. Uh, I will make sure to check every time I start recording again. Let's make a save up here. Uh, three, two, one. Yes. Let's go back from slot one. Alright, so we're in the dungeon. Last time we got to Mars, we learned that the kids have been kidnapped and they've been brought to the... Well, the end of, at the end of this dungeon from by a bunch of bandits. Uh, we already have the best stuff here. We already have... No, we have leather boots here now. Ruby airing and prism ring. 5% chance of nullifying damage. I guess that's nice. What can we give Celine? Is there something to increase intelligence? That'd be nice. Defense is good too. Where is the wear HP? That would be great, actually. Make her more tanky. Hmm, Warcry is nice. Uh, but it only works with chains. Start a battle with a power up effect. That'd be good on Claude, I guess. Because that's essentially strength up. Max MP, that, that's nice actually. Storm Ring is good. That'd be better on Claude though. Princess Ring gives intelligence to MP plus 100. I'll go with that for now. And Ring of Trust. Eh. Claude, instead of the Talisman. Then we'll give you the one that gets power up. What is that one? No, what is it? I can't find it. What was it? Can only Celine wear that? Is that a Celine only thing? Like female only? It might be. This one. Yes, only Celine can have that, so it's kind of useless for Claude. What can we give Claude here? Max HP, defense, is this something for attack? Make him even stronger. I guess this is nice. What else can we get? 
I would like to get something for attack. Yep, there's nothing. Okay, we'll keep the blue talisman now. Berserk Ring is pretty good. And that's... That's it. Let's see if we can improve some stuff. I don't think... Yeah, we spend most of the... Of the ability points. I do want to push train as hard as I can. And I need to remember... To go over here. Enlightenment. Okay, it's already on. Good, I need to s just make sure that that's on. Also, Celine, you have... Uh, okay, because I increased your MPs by 100, I was wondering. I'm gonna go over here. Um, set spells, you're gonna be on the AI for most of the... <laughs> most of the place, so... Energy arrow is pretty good, so I'm just gonna turn off everything else and just keep energy arrow. Windblade is actually pretty good because it's a... It shoots like three projectiles and... That can hit multiple stuff. Oh, we'll keep it like that. Windblade and Energy Arrow. Uh, do we want to restore MPs? Why not? There you go. Okay, two ways, but they both lead to the same one. Uh, let's see if I can get a back attack on this. I hope that's a back attack, because these things can do a lot of damage real quick. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, these Wii Chats need to die very quickly because they cast spells and they do a lot of damage. Thankfully, we one-shot stuff. Like, as you can see, they're 4k. Yep. Again, if you're not breaking the game, the Flame Zord you can buy for 4800 in town. It's great. Get that. It's pretty good. Can we chain these guys? Yes! Get more experience that way. I need to check how Celine is set, though. Strategy. No, don't attack me with everything. If I got good balance, don't just spam stuff. Also, I believe I need to set clothes skills. Although, as you can see... Yep. That that happens. Yeah. If Anytime you see these girls, just, just attack them. Because again, if they cast spells, especially early on, they can almost one-shot people. So yeah, keep, keep an eye out for them. They can also move really fast, but the, as long as they're moving, they can't cast So yeah, that's that. What's going on here? What did we do? Throw a battle skills a hundred times. That's some money, why not? And BPs as well. Now, let's do some improving. Can we do anything here? Not yet. But we can probably... Yeah, we can probably do some stuff here. Okay, so we have helmet break. Helmet break is very good early on. Also, it's break focus, so you'll help you break the shield of enemies. Uh, this makes Claude jump attack an enemy, and it's useful because if you target an enemy that's far away, you can just get there real fast. Let's see if we can... What can we improve here? I mean, we have 300 points. We, ma we might as well spend them. I guess i get some god speed just to move a little faster. I'll get helmet break up, definitely, because that's a good one. And we'll spend the rest on, like, Power Burst. And I guess Key Gong is nice. Guard Break is good. Let's grab, let's grab that one. Why not? Uh, with Casters, you want to focus, the, as we read on the books in town, uh, Aston Speech, Key Gong, like, all the defensive ones and the ones that you need for spells. So, that one's good. That one's good, of course. This one's good. Yeah, these three are the big ones. I'll grab another Aston Speed. Yeah, let's grab two, whatever. Trans, Concentration, let's just spread these out over here. Yeah, we're good. Good power up energy arrow when we have when we hit 50 BPs. I'll think about that. Can't see the back of this enemy. Oh I got it right. Oh good. Bonk. Bonk and bonk. <laughs> That's easy. Also, I need to check my formations, because I think I might have gotten a new one. There's one that increases experience, and definitely want to set that as soon as I have it. Uh, formation... Yeah, this one. Hell yeah. Did I already set that? I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, okay. The avoidance one's pretty useful. This one's also nice, super armor allows you to never get stunned, which is neat. You still lose HP, but 
Secret, secret manual change that. What secret manuals do? Uh, they will learn. You'll learn another combat skill. Backstab is bad. Don't learn it, or learn it at the end and just turn it off. Because it randomly makes your character teleport behind the enemy, which sometimes, if you're behind an enemy, you'll teleport in front, and sometimes you don't want that. We can't walk through this swamp. Oh, of course we can. What about our mud shoes? Oh, right. There we go, and then we go through the swamp. So normally, if you come here early, you can't go past this point because you cannot go through the through the mud. But you can still fight the enemies that you find early on. No, I I didn't set the freaking. Oh, there we go. There they're moving. They're moving. I wanted to use element break, but I didn't set it to any to any button. I'll have to do it as soon as this battle is over. Wait, I didn't enable train? What the heck? I'm wasting a lot of experience points here. Uh, go over to train, and it'll tell us what it is. Gain more experience for lowered attack, intelligence, and defense. And that's it. There we go. And yes, turn both of us on. Is that it? Okay. We're still probably gonna one shot stuff because of how powerful we are. Uh, what did I. What was I going to do again? I said I was gonna do something here, I forgot. Oh yeah, uh, we need to set uh, helmet break. There we go. Alright, more enemies. A lot of enemies in this forest and... Really, it's the these enemies you need to be worried about because there are some other enemies that are like scripted attacks. And those aren't really... Dangerous. Okay, we don't want shot stuff now, but still. Two hits. I'll take that in, in exchange for more experience points. Because eventually, just by leveling up, I'll be back to one shot, one shotting stuff. I'm sorry if I go to improve every single time, but I want that train to go as high as possible. Yeah, we can grab one here. That would bring survival up, but I guess it'll give me defense. Why not? Alright, we are going to fight pretty much everything here because we need the XP. And take a look at this. Yeah, this is. Ammo break. Just lock onto an enemy you want to reach, press the button, and you'll be there. Amber rope for Celine. Five more defense, we'll take what we get. Like, for example, let's say I want to go over there, boom. That's the break. That's uh, just... Oh, nice, Celine. You stopped her in her track. Just keep an eye on your MPs, though. Don't spam it too much. Well, every time you level up in this remake, you just get filled, so... I guess, as long as you're leveling up every few fights, it's not that bad. Can we can we chain these guys? Can we chain them? Can we? Yes, nice. We're about to get a lot of XP. Oh no, no, no! Stop, stop, stop! Don't do that. Thank you. Stopped it in time. They are very dangerous. If you see them again, pop off and destroy them. Let's go for you real quick since the other one's broken. Thank you, Celine. Okay, these guys are easy. Bonk. And bonk. Lots of enemies weak to fire here. Yeah, that's a lot of EXP. Ba 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 Need to raise that skill. Train. Still can oh, I can get it over here though. Obviously effort if I can. Train level seven. How are we doing on this one? Oh, God. 
Yeah, we need we need Rena back in the party because if we do get her, then her train will count toward our enlightenment level. Hi. Yeah, it's been a, a 15 minutes already, but that's why I wanted to split this in two because this engine is not long, but it takes a while with all the fights that are. Okay, let's get a few levels here. Oh, I can power up Starlight. Hang on a minute. Uh, not here. Uh, specials. Double slash is uh, not that great. I don't like it that much. Uh, get energy arrow up and I will do this. I will go ahead and turn off Starlight. Starlight is fine, but... Yeah, just one wind blade and the other one. Can we got big chain here. That's no, two. It's fine. I wanted to get all three, but you can't always do that. Nope. Go over here. Bonk. And bonk. Nice. That's Godspeed right there. See that dash I did? Uh, that's Godspeed. Which helps you move faster on the battlefield. Yeah, lots of XP. Not a 12k. Uh, not 12h. 1200. I wish they were 12k. So that brings me back to the entrance. The other path probably is to treasure. And I did level up, so let's see if I can improve my training. And I can get an effort level, why not? Now if you're almost uh, at l about to level up, don't increase effort because it's not gonna do much for you. Uh, but I think it was pretty close and I sort of wasted, but it's fine. Really, we, you just want that as high as possible, as early as possible. Hi right, guys, what's going on? What are you protecting? It's probably an equipment or an accessory. But well, accessory is still an equipment. Okay, you need to stop. And it's about to cast a spell, need to get out of the way. There you go. Yeah, see that? See how much damage that did? Yeah, okay. Um, it, that just explained that they have a cooldown. Items have a cooldown. That's all there is to it. Yeah, one hit took away all of my health. So you gotta be really careful about that shit. Come over here. Sir, thank you. Bonk. All right, what's in this chest? What's inside the box? Sweets or treats or socks? Night shield. Why did you not equip that? I mean, it's plus. What the heck? Avoidance up, up plus up five percent. Why are you not equipping it? By the way, because of all these new like factors thing that can give you like random stat boosts like that thing with avoidance five percent, uh, in my complete save file or at least the one that I've most of stuff done. Oh wait, we have a cutscene. I'll tell you after this cut after this event. Who the hell are you? You bring us the money. Doesn't look like you brought us Jack. You've got it wrong there. What do you mean? You'll see after I beat you down. What's that? All right, so we're gonna get introduced to a new mechanic that the remake introduced. Enemy leaders apply various leader effects to all foes after the battle begins. These effects will not go away unless the leader is defeated, thus it is wise to target any leaders first. If the enemy leader's shield is completely depleted, it will cause a break effect that puts any other enemy touches into a 100% broken state. The break effect also has a damaging effect. Break caused by com coming into contact with a break effect will become a break chain. This can disable multiple enemies for a time, and the more chains, the greater the damage when the enemy touches the break effect. Essentially, this. It's good. There it is. And it dropped some eye hand ore too. They put up more of a fight than I thought. Don't tell me you've had enough already. You kidding me? 
Yeah, but so these guys are extremely easy. They're easier than normal enemies because they didn't even do. They didn't even, didn't even touch me. And the uh, the ladies, the the magicians, can be annoying because as you can see, if they hit you with one spell, it's off your elf. But no, what I was saying is because of all the factors that you can get like shields that have like plus five percent defense or whatever. In the end game, uh, it turned out that the best shield for Claude was a stupid wooden shield. Uh, because it had like defense up 10%, which was better than the best shield, because the best shield gave, I don't know, plus 200 defense. But because my defense, my base defense was so high, that 10% was more than 200. So I ended up in the end game with a crappy wooden shield with the factor that increased my defense more than the best shield in the game. <laughs> so that was very weird. Uh, let's take a look at. No, no, I don't want that. This. Nothing I can do here. Grab resilience and move on. And there'll be more of these fights against the bandits. There's another one here. There's like three or four, I believe. It's you. You're the guys who've been messing with us. Somehow I feel like I should be the one that's saying that. Hope you realize that you're putting your kids' lives in danger. How about you start worrying about your own lives first? <laughs> And just like before, we do that. Kill this guy, Celine, please. Don't just stand there and get hit. There you go. Hey, they give a lot of experience though, which is nice. We want a lot of experience. We want to level up, we want to improve our skills. Do you think they meant Reyna and Diaz earlier? That's what I would guess. You worried about them? You kidding me? Sorry if I go in here every single time, but I need to track through train. Hell yeah, we can improve that now. Let's grab effort. We go to level seven. Buffer cartridge level seven now. Um, yeah, sure. Sure, we want the XP. What's going on here? Oh my god, this fight sucks. Yeah. You gotta be very careful on who is casting. Target and go, please, Claude. Thank you. Anybody of you, any one of you casting? You are about to. Let's do that. And you. Nope. Okay, we'll get you this time. Yeah. This fight with five of them can be death. Because if they all decide to cast at once, get good lord. In the original, you only get a fight with four, and it still sucked. But in the original, you could have Celine spam Ray, which is uh, which hits the whole screen, and keep him stun locked. So it's not too bad. You may even one shot them, uh, but in this version, you it's a little bit more scary. What do we have up here? Can you? Th thank you. Th well, can I? That's better. I was about to say, can you turn around? But Chaining them is better for the XP. Uh, there's just a few of these guys. Bonk, bonk, and bonk. That's one for us indeed. What do we get? 1000 XP. I think Mental Drain is still MPs. I'm just going out by memory, but. I don't really use Celine a lot. I use her early on because she's useful, but now again, after you get your fifth party member, she becomes kind of useless. Oh, not one of these. Thankfully, they start stunned, so we can just take out a few of them like that. So wait until they stop. You're about to cast, or no, you're not. How about this? Bonk. All right, start airing, which we probably suck anyway. <laughs> it's probably bad. What's in the box? Five crystals. All right. All right. Let's see what these bandits have to say now. Hey, 
party's over, kids. We've had enough of your crap. We can't be causing that much trouble. Then it must be your friends. And you're gonna pay for them. We don't have any friends. That's introvert mood, Claude. Can you kill the leader? Thank you. Bonk. Alright, that's it. That's how you do it indeed. What kind of crap could Reyna and DS be pulling out here? Don't look at me. Alright, can we go anything here? Hang on, what's going on here? Big the shield shooters at the same time. Cool. Five BPs. Five thousand damage with a single attack. Hey. And the formation. Feed an enemy under one second. Alright, and that's it. Okay. Can we improve anything? And by anything I mean Nope. We're all the hundreds, so we need to wait until we are in the in that ballpark. Oh well. It is what it is, and I haven't got an account to fit metal yet, so I can spam that and level up as I anytime. Unfortunately. Well that's just random chance. Either we'll get one eventually or we will have to craft it ourselves in late game. I don't even need them, but if I get one, I can just, you know, copy them over and over, and if I want to level up because I desperately need SPs, I can use that. Uh, but that's not happening. Oh god, why is this fight again? Oh god, you're casting a thing. Nope. How about no? And I will lock onto you and bonk. Okay. The fireballs are not too bad. This thing hurts. Yeah, okay. Just heal me. I don't want to die and lose uh, my bonus. What's the other one doing? I don't think I can get there. I'll dodge it. There you go. Uh, one saving grace about th this fight in this version of the game is that Starlight can't be dodged. So if you just move laterally like I did, just move horizontally and you'll dodge it as long as you're moving. In the original Starlight it hits the entire screen so yeah, if they cast it, be prepared to lose all of your health, essentially. Okay, we're at the boss fight actually. S can we do anything else? I don't think we can. Uh, no, 8478. Yeah, unfortunately, Lyman's level 4. Eh. Alright then, let's fight the boss. Oh, there you are. What? Aren't you supposed to be guarding the Elder's house? I've taken care of things over there, so I thought I'd go into the forest. Have you found the children? Well, I hope so. So all the bandits have been tracked down and killed then? Oh, not at all. Huh? In fact, they've never been healthier. What are you trying to say? The only person getting killed around here is your father. My father? You, you didn't! You put far too much trust in your friends. It was a trifling matter to disguise myself as one of your friends and steal the book. You're the boss of the bandits. How dare you lay hands on my father? You fiend! Taking advantage of us. I'm gonna make you pay for this. So be it. Allow me to reveal my true self. Alright, I believe this is the first time we hear the boss music. Let's go over the strategy, spam, and I guess let's go. There's not much I can do over there than to do this. Yeah. Let's do it again. Bonk. You're broken, sir, and you're dead. I'm too OP. Easy boss.
that stone. It looks like the one Alan had. Celine, let's get back to the village. I'm worried about Egress. No. The safety of the children is our first priority. Celine! I don't want anyone else to die today. Wouldn't saving the children be the one thing to do in order to prevent that from happening? Celine. Claude! Reyna! What is that? The symbologist that was at the Elder's house. The real him, that is. That was the bandit's boss, wasn't it? What are you doing here, Reyna? We just rescued the children from the house they were being held in. Really? You took this guy by yourself? That's right. With some help from Celine, of course. I see. Reyna wasn't lying after all. What do you mean? The day we cross swords may not be so far away. I look forward to it. I apologize for my rudeness earlier. You probably wouldn't be a drag on me after all. What's he talking about, Reyna? Diaz. Time is of the essence. We must return to the village. You're right. I hope Egress is all right. He had taken several powerful spells at point-blank range. It'd be a miracle if he opens his eyes again. I'm sure he'll recover if Raina gets to him in time. Ah, oh, yes, with her healing spells. Hmm, indeed. Such power is unheard of in our village. Egress has regained consciousness. Oh, has he? I think he'll be fine once he gets some rest. Well then, I'll go see how he's doing. So that symbologist was the real culprit all along. There was no way for us to know since he disguised himself as one of the victims. I'm really impressed though. You defeated the bandit boss all by yourself. I mean, did you see that damage I was doing? Not by myself. Celine was the key to the whole thing. Uh, I disagree. The key was breaking the game, but Even sure. So, Diaz was really impressed. I'm sure his skills are still way beyond anything I have. That's the impression I get anyway. Claude? It's easy to lash out against someone, but it's hard to accept them as an equal. If he was praising me, even just a little, that just means he's that much better than I am with the sword. I think I'm starting to understand what you see in him, Reyna. Why do you have to be that way, Claude? Diaz is like the big brother I never had. You're getting the wrong idea, and I don't like it. Oh, really? We're here right now because we're investigating the sorcery globe, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? Reyna. What? That stone that Alan had with him. Never mind. I hope you find your mother. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, we're in Celine's house. Let's talk to all the people here. Can we steal from you? Uh, the same stuff, right? Yep. Why could I get that? I can steal from you. That I guess while you're bad, I can still try to steal stuff. Uh, I don't know. Again, thank you for saving my husband. Thank you so much. I shall never forget this. Diaz left without an own, uh, on his own without a word. In any case, I'm more cu curious about this restoration magic you possess. Simply remarkable. All right, and that is that. I believe we can leave now, and there's gonna be a cutscene with Celine. And then we can call it an episode. Celine. I wish you wouldn't just leave me here. But what about Egress? 
Oh, my father? He's fine. I must say, your healing spell is really something, Reyna. I just did what I could. Well, we need to get going. The sun's about ready to set. Why don't you stay over for the night? I need to repay you two for all that you've done. Are you sure it's okay? Oh, come on. Are you forgetting that you two are the heroes of the day? Heroes, huh? Of course. To whom are we going to express our gratitude if you two just run off like this? Diaz didn't say where he was going, did he? I think you'll find him soon enough. He may not like dealing with others, but he causes chaos everywhere he goes regardless. True. <laughs> now then, you two are going back to my place. Come on, come on! Thank you. That was wonderful. Oh, not at all. I'm just happy you enjoyed it. Are you feeling all right? Fit as a fiddle. And it's all thanks to Reyna. By the way, I hear you're on your way to Harley. That's correct. We intend to travel across the sea to Lacour and find passage there to the land of El. The land of El? Is there a problem? I heard where you're going over dinner. You're after the Sorcery Globe, aren't you? Yes. Could I ask you for your thoughts on the Sorcery Globe, Egris? This is just my personal opinion, but I believe it might be some form of energy entity. Energy entity? Yes. And if that were the case, then perhaps whatever energy it's emitting is affecting all the animals in the area and turning them into monsters. Does energy work like that? Well, it's just one of many possibilities. Do you have any other thoughts? I suppose the easiest explanation is that it's simply a normal meteorite. But that doesn't really explain all the phenomena we've had in the ensuing weeks. Are you sure you want to proceed into L immediately after landing on Makur? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. What do you mean, Father? Why wouldn't it be? You're working on far too little information right now. My suggestion would be to gather more intelligence in the Kur before traveling to El. There's a fine line between courage and recklessness. Do you understand? Certainly. That sounds like a good idea. Well, you're leaving early tomorrow, right? Best get to bed soon. I can smell something whenever you're around. Oh. Yeah, I guess I haven't bathed lately. No, no, that's not what I meant. I suppose it's my symbologist's instincts kicking in. But I'm starting to understand why everyone thought you were the hero. Oh, not at all, Egris. I'm nowhere near the all-powerful hero people think that I am. It's just that, you know, Reyna and Selene are giving their all out there every day. I'd feel bad if I didn't try at least as hard as they do. Reyna and Selene. I personally would have stopped at Reyna. Oh, uh... <laughs> I think you're much more than you think you are. That power of Reyna's doesn't bother you at all, and that's the way it should be. Well, I'd better not keep you up any longer. You should get some sleep for the trip tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks for seeing us off like this. You have been a great help to me. 
Accompanying you to the village outskirts is the least I can do. Well, time to get going. Take care of yourselves on the road. If L looks too dangerous, I don't want you to risk your lives. There's nothing to worry about, Mother. Besides, I have Reyna and Claude with me. Then we shall place our faith in them. Where do you think we should aim for after landing on Lacour? Lacour Kingdom should be your first stop, I suppose. It's the biggest country on the continent. You'll be able to find all the latest information, not to mention a wider selection of weapons. I was thinking about going to Linga to decipher the book that the Elder had trouble comprehending. Linga? A town in Lacour. It's famous for its wealth of scholars. Linga is on the southern tip of Lacour. If I were you, however, I'd head for Lacour Castle first. Thank you for everything. It's time to hit the road. We're not blessed with time. Right. Off to Lacour. And that is that. That is Mars. I believe we're we can get a few. No, there are no private actions. Okay. All right. Before we end the episode, I will do one funny thing. Oh, not really funny. Also, I loved how um, Celine's father was like Rena and Celine. I would have stopped that Rena. Cause don't you dare touch my daughter. Um. Anyway. Uh. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I'm not even gonna save scam it. If I get something good, good. Otherwise, whatever. Eh, it's, it's crap. Oh well. There's nothing in Mars that we can do. Uh, yes, I think we're good. And next time on Star Ocean 2, we'll cross to the next continent. See you all in the next one.